Good. That's actually a, a pretty sophisticated use of uh, unit conversion there. I don't think many people would think to do that as a unit conversion, but I think that's the best approach. So um, what you have here is um, the energy is 1.58 times 10 to the negative 13. So our given unit is joules, but our target unit is photons. We need to get out of joules and into photons, so we need a conversion ratio that gets rid of, that cancels the joules and replaces it with photons. Well, that's where we use our part A. In part A, we figured out that one photon has 1.03 times 10 to the negative 18 joules. And this is where you see whether you should multiply or divide, which is where many people get confused. But now we know for sure that to get the canceling to work out, we need to divide. All right, and then you got your answer. Uh -huh. So what was your answer? the whole point of having a fancy calculator. All right, so that gives us, yeah. Photons. Or, is this right? I think this is right, okay. What was the question? Yeah, what did this laser do? Right, now notice, this is a very small number when you're thinking about photons. This is not that many photons. So you can see how delicate these lasers have to be. Obviously, if somebody is shooting a laser at your eye, you don't want them to deliver too much energy to you. So notice that they're actually delivering a very small amount of energy. They want to deliver a very small amount of energy because they only want to reshape the cornea a little bit. They don't want to blast your eye out of the socket or whatever. So you can see how delicate the instruments have to be here to, to, to uh, make sure you're not sending much more than 150,000 photons. Because usually, you know, I think in the previous problem, the number of photons was like 10 to the 18th or something. So this is a pretty small number of photons. So this has to be a very uh, precise and controlled laser over here. Okay. All right, so you can see this is a very practical issue when people are using lasers for like a corrective uh, surgery or for fixing the eye, you need to figure out how much energy do I need to do the job, and then you want to figure out um, what type of wavelength you're going to use so you know how much energy each of the photons is bringing in. So these are very practical issues here. Okay, I think you, uh, you mainly uh, worked this out, um, so good.